Alright, welcome back, you people, for uh, the Blue Rescue Team Let's Play. So, first of things first, I'm going to need to sell a couple items. Uh, TMs, if you want to, like, make quick money and uh, you're okay with selling them, they are uh, the best way to make them quickly. Now, normally, even, you know, you, you get the same amount of money from, like, a, a rescue, so you probably don't want to sell, you know... You don't want to sell them willy-nilly, but I do want to buy a certain friend area. Uh, Southern Island. And this is actually going to advance the plot. I think if you do it by this and uh, do a couple of rescue missions successfully, you will trigger a cutscene. So that's step one. Step two to unlocking our next thing would be to go to Solar Cave, which is the place we unlocked last episode. Now we're going to need, as our leader, a Pokemon that can travel across water. Magnemite, you're our best choice, actually. And as Charmander explained yesterday, we can make them the leader, so we get to control them. Um, I'm choosing this because, you know, you get it as a mandatory party member. You also might want to bring... Uh, you might want to consider bringing Absol with you as well, just because of so many uh, psychic types in the Solar Cave dungeon that we're going to, but... Uh, I'm too lazy for that, so let's go. And also bringing a, uh, a skateboard with me because I want to leave after we get a certain item. We're trying to get to floor 20, you see, and um, we're pretty low leveled, as you'll notice, level 14, whereas these guys are level 28, so almost, a, yeah, exactly twice as much level. <laughs> uh, so you're going to want to let them do all the fighting. So let's see if, because I think Evan is not, yeah, he doesn't have exclusive move user. I'm give him that. A lot of items in this, uh, here area. Now, thankfully, as Supersonic, so as a defensive move, you know, you, you have a defensive move when you're Arsenal, so. Okay, now he's level 28. I think Charmander is also level 28. So the deal with this cave is that this is the place with all the HMs. Thankfully, the uh, item we're looking for will be out in the open, but if you're looking for another item that you can find in this cave, what you're going to want is a... Uh... There's a lot of items in this cave that you will need uh, a key to get, and yes, before you start cringing, yes, or... Um, you need to find keys... So, like, um, and they're pretty rare as well. They're supposed to spawn in this dungeon, and I have yet to see one, so. But, uh, thankfully you can also buy some at the Kecleon shop, but it doesn't, it doesn't arrive very often. So, the, that's not, so I'm not sure I'm too happy about that, but, uh, you know. Also note that at this point in the game, they can actually start using items that they pick up. The enemy Pokemon that is see like that. I should have used Supersonic on you. Uh, thankfully, that barely hurt me. Actually, I think I'd have caught it now that I. Ugh! How do, you're confused. How do you use items at me? Well, two can play at that game, I guess. Even though I, I do one damage. Oh yeah, now we have traps. I didn't explain what traps were earlier. They're pretty much exactly what you would think they would be. You know, the, 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 they're just hidden tiles in a dungeon that do some uh, random bad effect. They can affect enemies too, but still not... You know, they're, they're as fun as they sound to get tripped up on. And, and that whirlwind trap is one of the least threatening traps that you can find, so... And also, frequently they do not know how to uh, avoid stepping on a trap after you've stepped on one. You know, your teammates, that is. There is an IQ skill, I believe, that allows you to avoid such a, such a thing, but still pretty annoying.
Oh, and also what we have here, this is a Sunstone. This allows certain Pokemon to evolve, just like it does in the main series. Um, I'm not sure if this place has other stones for, like, e evolution, uh, different types of evolutions, but, uh, I don't know, it's pretty good to have, nonetheless. Also, one thing to be careful of is that, uh, I know from experience those Jinxes have double slap, so if they use that, then you're pretty, you you're pretty well screwed, kinda. Let's also throw you a Max Elixir. And actually, while I'm at it, I was going to put the X-Ray Specs on me, but I think I would rather have the Defense Scarf, just because, you know. Or what, why did I come back down here? I should have... I forgot that this was, uh, you know... I can't believe I forgot that this was a dead end. Wow. It's because the map, you know, it doesn't look like it on the map. But... Oh well, at least that extra fighting I did leveled me up some, so... Well, leveled me up one, not not some. Some is more than one. Hold on, where else can we go? Oh, eh, the stairs are in the left room. Wow, I can't... So, so I, I found it weird that they allow you to spawn a dungeon with this few, you know, accessible rooms, but... Oh well, I'm... Let's just throw our one Grout Rock and hope they don't catch it. Okay, so maybe I'll not want to use the Iron Thorns then, because uh, it seems that that Grout Rock did like 30 damage, you'll see, and I guess. I assume that the Iron Thorns do more damage, but it turns. It, it look. I'm gonna guess this is maybe doing one damage. It's based on, you know, your stat, your attack stat as well. Because, of course, since I'm, you know, I have a lowered attack stat, that's pretty. That's why I'm doing so little damage. God, I don't forget to cut that out in editing. Okay, these guys have soundproof, so my supersonic will not work on them. Okay, hmm. I actually might have this guy use scary face on him just to, you know. See, now, now it's, uh. Now it's slower. Now, uh, he can, uh, put more, uh. Put more danger on. Oh, sorry, black. No. It, uh, reduces physical, uh, attacks, not special, right? Oh, I thought he was scary face on you. How did you get to move that turn? Oh, yeah, it's because I used, I used up the turn uh, using scary face, right? That's... Or I forgot the, the technicalities of that. Oh, God, I hope it's not that Metatite that picked up the stick. The six sticks. Um... Oh, jeez. That is not good. Well, we can uh, set uh, Evan to run away for the tactics. Wait, it still aimed it? Holy cow, that, I didn't expect that. Alright, now it's dead, I think. Oh, how is it not dead? Okay, good. I was worried then. Now you're, uh, stupidly walking away. Oh, yeah, here, that's it. <laughs> I set him to run away. Whoops. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry about that. Yeah, I was hoping he wouldn't switch spaces with me that time. And you are still gonna use Metal Claw, hopefully. Now note that on this floor, if you have the TM for dive, it will, or blah, sorry, if you don't, if you lost the HM for dive, it will appear on this floor. Um, and if you do have it like we do, we have the link cable, I believe. Instead. 
Now let's hope nobody comes here and picks these up. See, that is the room, that room there would have it if we had a key, but we don't have a key, do we? What the heck is happening there? The, is that a sleeping lunatone in a corridor? Wow, I, I did not know that it could happen, but... That they could sleep in corridors, but I don't want to... Uh, incur their wrath if I can avoid it. And hey, I can! And hey, speaking of TMs and HMs, uh, for or that could sell for uh, money. Oh, that stairs in the that floor, ah, uh, that, that first room, dang. Ooh, so we're, we're starting to become a little bit better here now, eh? Let's unlink these and forget tackle. Because Sonic Boom, I'm gonna assume, you know, is a ranged move. Now on this floor, uh, I believe the HM for cut appears. Yeah, cut. Now I don't quite remember what it does. It does something in a dungeon. You don't need it to get to dungeons, like you will uh, with dive. But, uh, you know. It does, I believe it, what it does is it attacks like multiple, like it's, or it, it'll hit enemies like, it, if they're adjacent to you in any way, it'll hit them. So if you have multiple enemies ganging up on you, it's a pretty good, uh, yep, it's pretty good. Also, wow, what a, what a, what a dickish, like, dead end to put there. Um, like, we have to go all the way back now. Man, uh. Oh, come on. You... Alright, we have to uh, kill you as quickly as we possibly can. Oh, god, and he didn't, he didn't even do it. Oh, wait, wait, that runs us from sleeping, too, if I'm not mistaken. Or, I guess we'll see. Yep, no, it doesn't. Dang, what's that uproar prevented everybody from sleeping? Because, yeah, it's causing an uproar. It's being loud. It's being, you know, not not going in there. Oh, dear. Oh, God, I had to detect. Ugh, that, that's going to last a while. And do I have anything that can get rid of you? I'm going to give myself a max elixir just so I can live. You know, using a, a confusion. And hope it doesn't do anything. I hope she doesn't kill me in the meantime. So let's get rid of any moves you have. <laughs> she was using buy? Wow. And it looks like she has stopped protecting, so might as well, uh, you know, use our little nuke on her. How'd they both miss? Oh my god! That's it. I'm dead. I'm dead. I don't have any more max elixirs. He's missed everything. Oh my god, we're dead, aren't we? Oh, maybe not. Oh wow, that's... I didn't think that would do anything. I thought it was too low level. I thought it was too uh, low level to do anything. Yeah, and there's the key. If we had one, we would use that. How does a robot go dizzy from hunger? I mean, not quite a robot, but... Well, maybe not quite a robot. If I get lucky and survive to get to floor 20, I'm going to eat my hat. Wow, good thing it missed. Wow. Oh, a Grumpig. Hmm. Will I manage to defeat it is the question. Well, yeah, Supersonic, I can... Oh, 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 yeah. Wow, I did not... I forgot that. Oh god, that's a ranged attack, isn't it? Yep. Let's just hope it doesn't do it doesn't use mud slap or anything. How do you keep missing this often? That quick attack missed! I think I just have to get used to the RNG and Mystery Engine being a bit less uh lenient to the player than in other games. Like I shouldn't keep getting surprised. Blah, sorry about that, something came up, but, uh, anyway, back to this dungeon. 
So this floor has uh, the uh, item we need. See, the reward became sticky and unusable? How does that work? We have the sticky trap, it makes one random item unusable. There is a way to get it un- like, it, it lasts past the point where you- ooh, here it is. It, it, it lasts as you leave the dungeon, so, uh, do note that. I believe you don't- you don't get to sell it for as much either, so... Um, anyway, we're gonna use the escape orb. But yeah, point it like, like, um... You can, uh, get an item to make it unsticky. The next morning. No, morning, but only by time. Oh, is this a new thing? The time's so early in the morning that everyone is still in bed. Woo! What? What is it? Okay, this is the cutscene I'm talking about. Guess you don't have to do any rescue missions. What's happening outside? Whoosh! That sound! Something's coming closer? Wow! What, what was that? What just happened? Something huge flew by at an incredible speed. It seemed to be going towards the mountain range in the north? Ah, still sleepy. It's still early. I'll catch a little more sleep. Several hours later. Hey. Hey, Evan. Evan, wake up. Come on, wake up. Ooh, call back. Call back to the beginning of the game. Evan, are you awake? There's some sort of a commotion down at the square. Let's take a look. Look, everyone, everyone's gathered around. I, I do not deserve this. I am outraged. What's up, everyone? Uh, up, up, up! How could it be up, I ask you? My beautiful shop, my fine wares were stolen from me. Many, many TMs are simply gone, spirited away. Dark clouds fill my heart. My bank wasn't hit, but these are frightening times. You, you, you get one store robbed and you say this is frightening times, Persian. How about, how about when the world was about to end? I think that's frightening times. This one's not to make this feel like it. Whatever she said. You're ins insinuating that we were robbed for being careless? Now wait. Tell me, Kecleon. You saw this thief? Hmm? No, not very clearly I didn't. When I saw it, it had already taken off. Taken off? You mean it flew away? Yes. It flew off in the yonder direction, yes. At tremendous speed, too. The, the, the yonder direction. That would be the northern range. It's impossible to determine what the thief is. So need you investigate this matter properly. Yes, I beg for justice. My business faces ruination. Evan, want to look into this? Evan seems to have gone the case of pursuing the burglar that struck Kecleon's shop. The burglar's alleged get getaway spot. The Northern Range is now open for investigation. And Magnemite teleports in to help too. Good morning. Ah, another refreshing day. Oh? Who is that, over there? Never seen it before. It's not from around these parts. Oh, and this is a different side quest. No more. I can't walk anymore. I'm falling down. Goodness, it needs help. Look where? It's Evan's house. It's also a rescue team's base. Oh, did you maybe rescue me? Th thank you. <laughs> it's okay, there's no need for thanks. Rather than that, what happened? Y yes, I'm named Spinda. I like to travel. I've been traveling all over, seeing the sights in other Pokemon. It was on my travels that I've heard rumors of a Mirage Pokemon. 
A Mirage Pokemon? Yes, that. Isn't that exciting? Ever since then, I've been traveling all over in hopes of seeing this Mirage Pokemon. But I've had no luck. Finally, I became dizzy from fatigue. And I must have passed out. I... I'm giving up on my quest. I'm simply worn out. But wait a second. Are you sure you won't regret giving up that easily? But I... I reached my physical limit. If I push myself any further, I will collapse again. It's not good for my health. <sighs> Please, I want you to have this. Ooh, you received something. What is this? It's a clear wing. Clear wing? Yes. Found it on my travels. It's a wing of some sort. It's transparent, but... If you hold it up like this... See, depending on the light, it takes on many different colors. At first I thought it was just pretty to look at, but after checking around, it appears to be related to the Mirage Pokemon somehow. But I couldn't learn anything beyond that. It's very disappointing, but I'm giving up. Well, wait, are you okay? You still look unsteady on your feet. Oh no, when I walk I always totter. Bye. Clear wing, huh? I don't have a clue what this is all about. But the Mirage Pokemon does interest you, right? I think Zatu is the one to ask for something like this. Zatu should be at the peak of Great a Great Canyon. We should go to the Great Canyon. <sighs> so that's actually a side quest. I'm not sure if I want to show up because it's actually quite the increase in difficulty, if I remember correctly. But, uh, getting back to the whole Spinda thing. Oh, this is just the stuff they say all the time. Do you guys say anything different? Nope, you have, uh, you, you, you have no reaction to getting, you know, stolen from. I see. So what we're gonna do is we're heading out to Northern Range. Um... That's going to be next episode, and that is the uh, dungeon, by the way, that we need Surf for. So that's why uh, we got this episode. Is it in our inventory? Yes, it is. I was worried that maybe we forgot it. Also, is Roar not sticky? Hold on. Let let's see if we can uh, sell it. Yeah, we can. Okay, never mind. I, I thought... So maybe do sticky items, I guess, not go past dungeons? Because in the next game, they definitely don't. Like, you have to get, like, a cleaner orb to uh, clean them. I thought that was this game, too, but maybe, maybe not. Okay. But, yeah, so if you find a sticky shop... So, uh, either way, it'll make it unusable for the duration of the dungeon. So, uh, yeah.